Welcome back to another video. Melissa and I are here in Spokane. We just got in about 20 minutes ago. We flew in from Houston this morning at 6 a.m., headed over to Denver, a quick stop over there, and then we are now here in Spokane. We have about a four and a half hour, five hour drive over to Glacier. So we're coming in from the west side. We have about nine full days here, and we're really excited to get um, into Glacier and go check it out. About an hour into the drive, maybe a little bit less, we made our first pit stop here in a small town called Wallace. It literally has 690 people, according to the sign on the highway. We made it to a place called City Limits Brew Pub. Just need a bite to eat. Hey guys, so I've been plant-based um, for almost the last four weeks. I had to end it just a little bit early just because we went on vacation. Um, but we're in some random small town here in Idaho and I was able to find a veggie burger, so that's what I got. And then I indulged with a surprise. I went ham on this burger because I got this thing called a Miner's Delight. I have bacon, slow-cooked brisket, and a patty. Hey, right, Melissa, what did you think of that place? What, how was your food? The food wasn't bad, but the service sucked. It was slow. Like, we were there for about an hour, 10 minutes, hour, 15 minutes, literally just to get burgers and fries. But fries are good, though. They're like double fried. But anyway, back on the road. Uh, we have about three to three and a half hours to Kalispell. And in Kalispell, we need to make another stop to get our provisions for our trip. Time to get back in the car. All right, two and a half hours later, we are here in Kalispell. And we are here in, or in front of a Costco. But it seems like it's in the middle of nowhere. Like we drove up and it's like, where's the actual town? So we're gonna go stock up on supplies. Bear spray. Bear spray is kind of expensive. Thirty nine ninety nine. In in the park, it's thirty five ish for one. Okay. So I guess not. That, that's not too bad. I very much appreciate Costco because every time you come into the Costco, no matter where you are, it feels so familiar to you. It's laid out exactly the same, so you know exactly where you're going. Bananas. Poor planning. We should have brought sandwich bags from home, but we packed like the day before. What'd you get? Gluten free bread. Cuties. Bananas, bear spray chips, Ziploc bags. What else do we need? We need peanut butter, some type of nut butter, and jelly. That's going to be our lunch most of the day. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Those it's jars huge. are so big. Pretty successful shopping trip, probably another 45 or an hour from here. All right, because it's after, I think, about five. Yeah, I think it's about after five o'clock. Um, the entrance is not manned, so we have to come here to this fee station and pay our entrance fees. So you just take a picture of the QR code and then register online. All right, so we're obviously here at Glacier. We just got here, it's about 6.30. Uh, it's been a long travel day. Uh, it's actually 7.30 in, at home in Houston, so we've been traveling about 13 hours. We finally made it here to Glacier. Super excited, but also kind of tired. We just took a picture right here and then we have another about 20 minutes into the park uh, where we're staying at Motel Lake McDonald. We are in bear country, so there are a lot of grizzly bears and black bears here. So, ooh, bear spray that we bought at Costco, two for $39.99. Yeah, and we were looking at the camp store, and yesterday, how much was that? One for $30. No, it was one for forty nine ninety nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we got two for less than the price of one. You have to know how to use this, otherwise it's useless. Also, it can't be in your backpack. It needs to be readily accessible. Like I have mine right here on my hip belt. Yeah. Readily accessible. Ready. This is Avalanche Trail. Okay. Avalanche Lake Trail or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All not right. good with descriptions. It's like maybe five miles round trip. Four. One. Yeah, it should be a sh easy little hike. Yeah, not a lot of elevation gain. Let's go. We wanted to start off with a pretty easy hike to kind of get our legs going because we have quite a few pretty big and strenuous hikes in the days coming up. So we're going to do this little hike and we'll see what else we get up to in the afternoon. So we'll probably be done with this hike probably about 10 o'clock or so in the morning and then we'll see what the rest of the day brings. We're looking at those like red bus tours. Um, that stop at the lodge over there where we're staying. So we might do that in the afternoon. It's $40 a person? Really? 
bucks. Yeah, so I don't know if that's, that's worth, worth it. it. Huh. Yeah, that seems a little steep. It's cold. <laughs> this trail, yeah, it's pretty cold right now. It's probably 48, 49, 50 degrees, something like that. It's a little, little brisk. But, but it warms up throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So it'll probably be getting close to 80 in the middle of the day today. So that'll yeah. be nice. So dress in layers. Yep. We did not purposely match today. Um, actually, <laughs> I've had this sweater jacket for a couple years now, and Alan decided to buy the exact same one. So because it's nice, it looks nice, and it's comfortable. This is my bear bell. But apparently, it doesn't work. What do you mean, doesn't work? Yeah, the the experts say the bear bells don't really work. <laughs> and to just talk loudly and clap and make lots of noise. Guys, this bear bell is going to get annoying real fast. I don't know about this. You might have to put this up. <laughs> Avalanche Lake in um, a little under an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So like we started at like 7:15. 53 minutes. All right. We're gonna take a look around, take some photos, videos. Looks pretty cool right now. It looks like we are the first ones to arrive here this morning. We passed a few other hikers on the way up here, but right now we are the only ones here. We were the first ones, but oh, then they came out after, while I was in the restroom. Yeah. Oh. The water looks really cool right now. Yeah, it does. But it's time for me to put on my jacket. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so this hike, Avalanche Lake, is really easy. It's more like just a, a level walk. There's a little bit of up and down, but pretty easy overall. Just over two miles up here, right here by the lodge, uh, Lake McDonald Lodge. The views are pretty good. Uh, it's pretty quiet too. Um, so, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it's a nice intro hike. Mm -hmm. Get the legs warmed up a little bit because mm -hmm. we got some bigger hikes coming up, uh, like 11, 12 mile hikes. Um, so yeah, we're excited about those. Is but that round trip or one way? I think the High Line Trail is like 11.8 miles one way, but then you, you take a, tr um, a shuttle back. Oh, okay. So it's a one, one way cut and then you take the shuttle back. Okay, that's not terrible. Yeah, so yeah, so um, it's time to head back. All right, so we came down off the avalanche trail and now we're here at the transit stop. We're gonna try to take the shuttle up to Logan Pass and then do a hike from there because apparently the Logan Pass parking lot is pretty much just packed after like eight o'clock. Do you wanna sit next to No, it's okay. That was a pretty cool little journey up to Logan Pass. We're now up here at the Visitor Center. I'm probably gonna have a little bit of lunch and then we'll see what we want to get up to. Probably do another, another short little hike. The unfortunate thing that we just found out uh, recently was that the Highline Trail is closed um, due to bear activity. So unfortunately we won't be able to do that um, for the next few days. Not sure how long it's gonna be closed either. Um, so. Hopefully we get to do it because that's like one of the iconic hikes here in Glacier. Um, so crossing our fingers that it opens soon. Alright, so what's the plan? Oh, the plan is um, to have some lunch and then we'll walk a little bit on the Hidden Lake Trail. Um, the wildflowers are really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we'll go the whole way. I think it's better to do that tomorrow if we get up really early and drive up here. 
so uh, we can park up here. Yeah. yeah, so we can park the pier. Because it's about 11 o'clock right now, and like I said earlier, the hidden, or the High Line Trail is closed. So everybody's gonna be, if they're gonna be hiking, they're gonna be hiking the Hidden Lake Trail. So it's like the busiest time of the day. So we're just gonna come back tomorrow, and we're gonna probably have a little bit of lunch here, walk around a little bit, and then, what do you think, head back to Lake McDonald? Yeah. And walk around there yeah. probably for a little bit? Yeah, yesterday was a really long day, and then we um, didn't get to go to bed super early, and we woke up early, so I'm tired. I slept on the bus. <laughs> Yeah, we might take a little bit of a nap and then get back out there.